While this year's Geneva Motor Show has been, well, extremely electrified, there's also another aspect that's here, and that's supercars, and hypercars, and super hypercars, and hyper supercars. Basically just cars that go really, really fast. Right before the auto show, Ferrari introduced the F8 Tributo, a mid-engine supercar with a 3.9 liter V8 that has 710 horsepower and 568 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's a lot of torque for a car this size, and it's gonna set you back $276,000. So start saving up your pennies now. At the show, Lamborghini unveiled the Huracan EV Spider. Now, we've driven the Huracan Performante Spider before, but this is the EVO, and what makes this car different is the technology inside the vehicle that actually makes it drive better for the regular person. So if you're not used to driving a supercar, it'll actually anticipate and help you keep the car on the road. Plus, you could drift it without flying off the road. The car will help you drift. It's like it has a supercomputer and a supercar that makes all this possible. If you're looking for a lot of horsepower, I mean a lot of horsepower, look no further than the electric Pininfarina Batista. It has 1,900 horsepower. 1,900! That's if you got a lot of cars, shoved them together, and somehow you made the horsepower all work at the same time. It'll do zero to 60 in under two seconds. It takes longer to say the words zero to 60 than it would to get to 60 in that car. It has a top speed of 217 miles an hour. And if you want one, well, you're gonna have to compete because there's only going to be 150 made. If you're interested in a hypercar that's a bit different, the Koenigsegg Jesko is the vehicle for you. It has 1,600 horsepower, and they're promising it'll go up to 300 miles an hour. 300 miles an hour, that's crazy. Also, it looks insane. It looks like they just shoved the carbon fiber on top of it, and that's it which gives it an intriguing look, but also makes it kind of difficult to take photos of. So really, to get the full view of the car, you gotta see it in person. But really, the prettiest, the most beautiful car here was the Aston Martin 003. Now, it uses something called FlexFoil, which is some sort of NASA-approved aerodynamic technology. Who cares? It's gonna go crazy fast. There'll only be 500 of them made, and for some reason, you have to use your smartphone in it. Of course, the one thing that binds all these vehicles together is their insane price tag that goes along with their insane horsepower and torque. Supercars are great for looking at the technological advances in powertrain and drivetrain, but in reality, we can't afford them. I can't afford them. You probably can't either, but they do make for great posters.